Hello everyone. Today we are going to see the theoretical calculations of reciprocity theorem. Okay. Now let's see what is the reciprocity theorem statement first. In any linear bilateral network consists of energy sources and resistors, then the response is same before interchange the source and after interchange the source. Before and after interchange the source, the response should be same. Here, if we take the practical circuit, the practical circuit will be like this. <clears throat> this is the practical circuit. It is a before interchange the source. So by using the ammeter, we will calculate the current. I1 is the current passing through this branch before interchange the source. Now, if we interchange the source here, after interchange the source, the current passing through this branch is I2. Okay, here it is a supply voltage. After interchange the source, I2. So, according to this reciprocity theorem, we have to verify that. Okay, here, according to reciprocity theorem, we have to verify before interchanging the source, the current is Ix. And after interchanging the source, the current is I2. Both should be same. This we have to verify theoretically. Okay, now let's see. Before interchange the source, if we see the supply volt, if we take the supply voltage is 15 volts. <coughs> now, let's calculate the current passing through this branch. So now I am using here mesh analysis. Assume that in this the current flowing is Ix current is flowing. Assume that in this the current flowing is Iy current is flowing. Okay, by using mesh analysis, by using, by using mesh analysis, or simply we can call it as a, by using mesh analysis, by using mesh analysis. So now apply KVL8. Now I am using mesh analysis method. Apply KVL. Let loop one. Here, how many loops are there? Loop one and loop two. I am applying mesh analysis in loop, in loop one. Loop one, I, Ix current is flowing. In loop two, Iy current is flowing. If we apply mesh analysis loop one, we will get minus two plus fifteen plus fifteen is equal to here one into I one. One into Ix plus for 2.2 resistor, there are two currents are flowing in opposite direction. That's why 2.2 into Ix minus Iy. Here, if we simplify this, we will get 3.2. 1 into 2, 1 plus 2.2 is equal to 3.2 into Ix minus 2.2 into Iy is equal to 50. This is equation number 1. Now, same, apply, apply KVL at loop 2. If we apply KVL at loop 2, we will get, in loop 2, there is no voltage source. 0 is equal to 1 into Ix, <clears throat> here 1 into Ix, the current passing through 1 kilo ohm is 1 Ix only. Okay, 1 into Ix plus 2.2 into, sorry, here it is Iy is equal to 2.2 into Iy minus Ix. Okay, Iy minus Ix. Now, if we simplify this, we will get here minus 2.2 into Ix minus 2.2 into Ix plus 2.2 plus 1, 3.2, 3.2 Iy is equal to 0. This is equation number 2. Okay. So, if we calculate this by using the calculator, we will get Ix is equal to, from equation number 192, okay, from, from equation 192, we will get Ix is equal to 
तो एट पॉइंट एट एट मिली एम्स एट पॉइंट एट एट मिली एम्स नेक्स्ट आई वाई इज इक्वल टू सिक्स पॉइंट वन वन मिली एम्स ओके सो ये the current passing through this branch is i1 uh, sorry iy is the current passing through this branch uh, current passing through this loop is iy and the current passing through this branch is also iy so from this we can say that iy is nothing but i1 what is iy we got 6.11 milliamps so before interchanging the source the response in this branch is 6.11 milliamps at 15 volts okay now let's say before interchanging the source and we will uh, now take the supply voltage is 20 volts here assume that in this ix current is flowing in this iy current is flowing okay here apply kvl apply kvl at loop 1 if we apply kvl at loop 1 we will get minus 2 plus plus 20 20 is equal to 1 into i x plus 2.2 into i x minus i y. If we simplify this, we will get 1 plus 2.2. That is 3.2 into i x minus 2.2 into i y is equal to 20 volts this is equation number 1 now at loop 2 if we apply kvl at loop 2 we will get in loop 2 there is no uh, voltage so that's why we will take zero is equal to here for 1 uh, kilo ohm resistor only iy current is flowing 1 into iy plus 2.2 there are two currents are flowing in opposite direction iy minus ix If we simplify this, we will get minus two point two i x minus two point two i x plus three point two into i y is equal to zero. It is equation number two. Okay, three point two i one i x minus two point two i y is equal to twenty. This is equation number one. Equation number two is minus two point two i x plus three point two i y is equal to zero this is equation number 2 from from equation 1 and 2 we got i x is equal to 11.85 excuse me 85 milliamps And I Y is equal to eight point one four milliamps. Eight point one four milliamps. From this, we can say that the current passing through this branch is I Y. So I Y is equal to is equal to I one. I one is equal to I one. That is eight point one four milliamps. okay so this is after uh, before interchanging the source at 15 volts and 20 volts okay here yeah. mm, what is it now if we erase this part and we will write here i y is nothing but I one is equal to eight point one four eight point one four milliamps. This is the response before interchanging the source. Now, if we summarize this, we will get at fifteen volts we got six point one one. At twenty volts we got eight point one four. Okay, so. This is before interchanging the source. Now, let's see if we after interchange the source, what are the responses we will get? Okay. Now, let's see. 
after interchanging the source at 15 volts. If we interchange the source, we will get here. <coughs> now apply here as assume that in this I1 current is flow, Ix current is flowing. Here assume that Iy current is flowing. Now <coughs> apply KVL KVL at loop 1. If we apply KVL at loop 1, we will get 0 is equal to, because here there is no source here. In this loop, there is no source. 0 is equal to 1 into Ix. The current passing through this 1 kilo ohm is Ix plus for 2.2 kilo ohm, there are two currents are flowing in opposite direction. That's why 2.2 into Ix minus Iy. If we simplify this, we will get 3.2 into Ix, 3.2 into Ix minus 2.2 into Iy is equal to 0. It is equation number 1. Now, if we apply KVL <coughs> at loop 2, if we apply KVL at loop 2, we will get plus 2 minus minus 15. The current is flowing from plus 2 minus minus 15 is equal to is equal to 1 into Iy. Here, yeah, 1 into Iy plus 2.2 into Iy minus Ix. If we simplify this, we will get mm, minus 2.2 into Ix minus 2.2 into Ix plus 3.2 into Iy is equal to minus 15. This is equation number 2. Okay. So for equation number 1 is 3.2 into Ix minus 2.2 into Iy is equal to 0. And equation number 2 is minus 2.2 into Ix plus 3.2 into Iy is equal to minus 15. It is equation number 2. From equation number 1 and 2, we got Ix is equal to minus 6.11 milliamps. Okay. Iy is equal to, we got minus 8.88 .88 milliamps. Okay. Here, <coughs> we want I, I2. The current passing through this branch is Ix. So, from this, we can say that Ix is equal to I2 is equal to because Ix and I, I2 both are in opposite direction. That's why we will take the positive sign only 6.11 milliamps. Okay. This is the response after interchanging the source. If we apply 15 volts here, we will get uh, the I2 value. We got 6.11 milliamps. Now, let's take the supply voltage is 20 volts. If we take the 20 volt supply, we will get we are assumed that in this Ix current is flowing, in this Iy current is flowing. Here apply KVL, apply KVL at loop 1. If we apply KVL in loop 1, there is no source here. 0 is equal to, okay, 0 is equal to 1 into Ix plus 2.2 into Ix minus Iy. So if we, if we simplify this, 2.2 plus 1, that is 3.2 into Ix minus 2.2 into is equal to 0. It is equation number 1. Okay, 3.2 into Ix minus 2.2 into Iy is equal to 0. Okay. Now, apply KVL at loop 2. If we apply KVL at loop 2, your current is flowing from plus 2 minus minus 20 is equal to 1 into Iy plus 2.2 into Iy minus Ix. Okay. If we simplify this, we will get <coughs> minus 2.2 into Ix plus 3.2 into Iy is equal to minus 20. This is equation number 2. 
ओके लेट मी क्रॉस वेरीफाई माइनस टू पॉइंट टू इंटू आई एक्स प्लस थ्री पॉइंट टू इंटू आई वाई इजी फोर टू माइनस ट्वेंटी इयर थ्री पॉइंट टू इंटू आई एक्स माइनस टू पॉइंट टू इंटू आई वाई इजी फोर टू जीरो ओके राइट सो फ्रॉम इक्वेशन नंबर वन नाइन टू फ्रॉम वन नाइन टू फ्रॉम इक्वेशन वन नाइन टू वी विल गेट आई एक्स इज इक्वल टू वी गॉट माइनस एट पॉइंट and iy is equal to minus 11.85 milliamps so here from this we can say that ix is equal to i uh, ix is equal to i2 is equal to 8.14 milliamps so here from this we can say that ix uh, ix and i2 both the, the the directions are in opposite we will get this side here 8.14 okay so after interchange the source these are the values we got if 15 volts we got 6.11 and if 20 volts we got 8.14 uh, amperes so yeah so this is the before interchange the source circuit and in before interchange the source circuit we got at 15 volts we got 6.11 at 20 volts we got 8.14 and this is the after interchange the source after interchange the source we got the values at 15 volts 6.11 at 20 volts 8.14 so here from this we can say that uh, here <clears throat> before interchanging the source and after interchanging the source the response is same here 6.11 6.11 and it, it 20 volts 8.14 8.14 so before interchanging after interchanging the response is same hence the reciprocity theorem is verified so this is about the reciprocity theorem okay in the next class we will discuss further more videos thank you everyone